Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Forever you will be. Lord, we worship you. The lamb upon the throne. Sing it to him. Lift your hands, lift your voice. Let's worship him. I gladly bow my knees. Thank you for your miraculous presence in this place. To worship you. Forever you. The Lamb upon the throne I gladly bow my knees Everlasting, you remain the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. No man can take you into power. No man can impeach you. You sit upon the throne and manipulate time to respond to your will. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Find true worship in this place. We love you. We truly, truly love you. We're not using you to build enviable destinies. We're not using you to find relevance. We're not using you to manage our fears and insecurities. You are bigger than that. You are bigger than that. For you are bigger than what we say. Say, say. you are bigger than what we say. Say, say, say. You are wiser than what we say. Say, say. you are bigger than what we say.
acknowledge you. We acknowledge you. We recognize your presence. You're not a contributor to our success. You are the reason why we are successful. You're not part of our lives. You own everything. We're not giving you the most important part of our lives. We're giving you everything. 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 Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. We bless you. We love you and we bless you. This is part of our worship. We love you. We're not just thinking it, we're saying it. We love you. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, you have perfected praise. Lord, we are too grateful to allow stones take our place. We are too grateful to allow the trees worship you. We are too grateful. You have done well and we honor you. You have done well and we bless you. You have done well beyond our prayers, beyond our fasting, beyond our levels of obedience. Beyond our levels of understanding, you have glorified your name. And we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we bless you. We thank you. Hallelujah. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. Thanksgiving is a sign of humility, just like prayers. It's an acknowledgement of his sovereignty above and beyond our limitations let me tell you something brothers and sisters god is not an addition to our lives he's the reason don't 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 look at god as you see the reason why our worship is not perfected is because we think we have done so much then god added to it so we worship him as colleagues i don't worship him as a colleague he's the king he is my king. Take God out of the equation of my life. I am absolutely useless. There's nothing embarrassing about this. If you are ashamed to acknowledge the might of God. The psalmist said, if the Lord had not been on our side. He said, now may Israel say. If the Lord had not been by my side. Please in one minute, I'd like you to open your mouth and count your blessings. Don't pretend he has not been faithful. Take your eyes away from that which you think he has not done and acknowledge him. How can I be so ungrateful? You have done well. You have changed my life. You have given me what money cannot give. You have given me your presence. Look what you've done in this ministry. We acknowledge you. We are so blessed, our souls have found rest, oh Lord, we give you thanks, sing it with me. When others are complaining, seeing the things they think you have not done, we are grateful. How dare we complain after all you have done? For we are so blessed, and our souls are found blessed. Oh Lord, we give you One more time, just the voices. Worship Him. Reflect on the many things he's done in and through your life. For all you have done, we are so blessed and our souls.
Jesus Christ, we thank you. You are our confidence in this place tonight. It is because of your presence that we know lives will be changed tonight. We have come to hear you speak. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, accept our coming here tonight as a reflection of our inadequacy in ourselves. Accept our coming tonight as a recognition of our limitations. Accept our coming tonight as a communication of our dependence on you. For we will not be here if we did not trust you. Lord, we trust you. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This for someone is the message God came to give you tonight. This act of worship. Please listen to me, brothers and sisters. The key to more of anything in your life is gratitude. The key to more of anything in your life, anything good, is gratitude. He took five loaves and two fish. He lifted it up and the Bible says he gave thanks. You know, sometimes we live in a world where there is such an appetite for more. More money, more fame, more this, more that. And now God wants to increase us. Motion is a sign of life. Stagnation is a sign of death. So God wants us to move forward. But you see, God's system is such that you never leave where you are to the next level until you thank him sufficiently for where you are. Hallelujah. Guilt, not guilt in a negative way, will never allow me to dare complain before God. There are too many stories in my life that show the faithfulness of God. I will be wicked and heartless to ever claim he's not faithful. So for me, if I do not have a language of gratitude, I'd rather not speak. I'd rather sing and worship him. There are too many reasons in my life. I am a testimony of how God can take a man from nothing to something. How would I be so stupid to complain? Shout around. He's giving me what money cannot buy. His presence. Listen. If you have a property, they call you a rich man. But someone can bully you and collect it. The government can seize it from you. Are we together? If you have investments all over the world, they call you a business mogul. But everything can crash and fail in one day. Are we together? If you have a political position, it is not infinite, it is not everlasting. Are we together? Even if you are a monarch, the reality of death and time can catch up with you. But when he gives you his presence, there is no way to find it and collect it from you. It's not a commodity that belongs to this earth realm. It's a reality that is beyond this realm. It will buy anything. The presence of God is the master capital. It's bigger than land. Bigger than degrees. Bigger than anything. Please believe me. The most expensive commodity is the presence of God. When you have it, you have access to kings and their treasures. When you have it, you have access to businessmen and their wisdom. When you have it, you have access to royalties and their sacrifices. They will bring to you the rewards of their years of labor and beg you to collect it in exchange for the presence of God. Never 
never you think the presence of God is just a way of feeling spiritual then you quickly feel spiritual then you concentrate on what you think will make you successful no only a fool does that the presence of God gave the nation of Israel gold and silver in one day what they could not get in 430 years the presence of God became for them a pillar of cloud by day and of fire by night. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes when you hear a man of God talk so much about the presence of God, please look up. It's easy to think the man of God is speaking because his life is now comfortable. You know, that's what people think in church. When a preacher is talking like this, you know, they feel like ah, you are doing well, you are enjoying. Why will you not talk about the presence of God? But you need to ask how the person started and what brought the person to the current level. Are we together? What you are seeing now is not a seed, it's a harvest. Are we together? Yes. Never covet any man's glory. Pay attention to the story. The story reveals the process. The story reveals the sacrifice. We live in a generation where we are obsessed with results. And that is important. But we focus so much on the end of the results. We want finished products. But we do not pay attention to how the things are made. Hallelujah. What you are learning will give you anything you admire now. So forget about the admiration and focus on the training. The training will inevitably bring you to the place of glory. Father, help us tonight in the name of Jesus. Bless you. Good evening, everybody. Just turn to your left and right and tell your neighbor good evening. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Alright, pick up your pen, paper, let's get to work. There's a lot to do. The Glory Revealed Part 2. Last week we started a series, The Glory Revealed. It's a series that is supposed to guide us, excuse me, and teach us the principles, how a man's life can become a reflection of all the possibilities that consist in God. Hallelujah. Please try to get last week's teaching. It's free. You can get it after the service, especially for those who are online following us. There are so many people and we love you. You are part of us. The Lord honor you in Jesus' name. And I spoke to us last week and I started laying a foundation that the pursuit of godliness, please listen, the pursuit of godliness, the pursuit of relevance in the kingdom begins with an encounter say an encounter the journey of a believer does not start with learning principles and laws and formulas business people teach you that if you want to arrive get formula a add it to b and that's important but anytime you begin to study anything outside of an encounter first it will waste your time and lead you to error because the kingdom is regulated by a person, not just systems. It is a person who created the systems. So you have to encounter the person Christ. Are we together? So your journey does not begin by learning about tithes and offerings, all the laws that we shared in the series before this. They are very important. But you must start with an encounter. When you meet the person, then he will guide you. Because the Bible says there is a way that seemeth right. There is a method. There is a formula. It seems right to a man. But the Bible says the end thereof are the ways of death. And um, we discussed the concept of glory. I'm just doing a quick recap. How that glory refers to the essence of a thing. The character. Are we together? The, 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 the word glory is from the Hebrew word kabod. The Greek word is doxa. Is a reflection of the true nature. When the true nature of a thing is expressed, we call it the glory of that thing. Are we together now? And then another interesting understanding of the word glory is the possibilities. That, that's the one I want us to pay attention to. 
is the one that is relevant in this series the glory of a man means all the possibilities that are inherent within the man the glory of this mic is revealed in its ability to amplify sound are we together when you go to buy this mic now and they tell you this singular mic i'm holding is say two hundred thousand. you look at this until you connect it to something then you will see the potentials are we together this is two hundred thousand, for instance because it has an ability to amplify my sound so i can stand here and speak and people down the second overflow and everywhere can hear so the glory of this mic is the possibility inherent in it are we together now so when we talk of the glory of god it refers to all the possibilities that are encapsulated in the person God and that is reflected in the person Christ because Christ is the full expression of the image of God are we together so Jesus came to open us up reveal to us the glory of the father an example of the manifestation of that glory was seen in the healings when he came to people they never knew he had the supernatural ability to heal and so he would tell someone pick up your mat stand up and go glory revealed i did tell us last week that until glory is revealed it cannot be appreciated glory that is concealed cannot be appreciated if you buy a phone the pack is only a packaging but the real product is inside if you keep the pack even if it's for 10 years it will not profit you but when you open it then you see the content and you appreciate everything that is there there are phones for instance that can just make calls text messages and a few things there are other phones that can browse at at a level of speed you can connect to several things watch videos and the rest those possibilities are the glory in the phone which is an expression of the wisdom of the company that made it so the phone reflects the excellency of samsung or any other lg or whatever product are we together now so christ came as a manifestation of the glory of god the invisible god yahweh found earthly expression and everything jesus did was a sample of what god can do he didn't show us everything he only showed us small and said you continue and he sent the spirit of glory are we together to continue so the bible was not supposed to just end with jesus we are epistles we are an unfolding of other dimensions of glory that are possible if jesus were still on the earth would have written more than would have written probably there would have been an episode where he walked on a zinc and came down probably there would have been an episode where he made a dry ground to be full of water but the holy spirit came and through jesus showed us an example that we should follow in his steps so the goal of this series is to teach us the mystery behind spiritual alignment that can make a man become a reflector of the glory of god that all there is all that there is to you is not just your human nature there is more say amen. amen so the glory of a thing reflects the possibilities and um, we began to explain how that one of the keys to experiencing the glory of god is to believe that there is such a possibility you see brothers and sisters god is not a man that you should lie are we together not the son of man that he should repent if a jimmy has fifty thousand hidden in his suit pocket is hidden and we cannot see it if he tells me and says i have fifty thousand my attitude towards him will show whether i believe it or not are we together if i tell you right now on this table there is a phone there is this assuming you cannot see it anything you cannot see you will have to use my person to validate your trust because you cannot see it are we together so faith is that response that is entirely based on your perception of who god is because until 
there is a manifestation you do not yet know once you have seen it once and again it's no longer faith it's called trust trust is based on a track record of a man's experience faith is based on your knowledge of his person if i tell you after service there will be free bus transport to take you assuming you are a new person who just came here it's up to you to look at me and gauge could this person be lying and then if you wish you can ask somebody who has had an experience with me the last time he spoke like this was there a boss and the person tells you yes so you believe not because you have seen a boss you believe because you think i am too big to lie to you that's what faith is predicated upon so when god says i want to reveal my glory it's up to you to first believe could god be joking is he playing games with me does he have the ability to back up his claims and this is why we have the bible the bible is a compendium of god's speakings versus their manifestations in the life of people abraham i will make you at the end of it he made abraham he told gideon you're a mighty man of valor at the end of it Gideon became a mighty man. He told the apostles you will receive power at the end of it. The Bible says, then he swore by himself that by these two immutable things, it will be impossible for God to lie to the end that you may find a consolation that every time you see God speak, you take him seriously. Say, I believe in God. Say it again, I believe in God. Hallelujah. Today I want you to open up your spirit because I believe with all my heart that what I'm about to share with you will truly bless you. In the part two of this series, we are going to be considering the anointing. The glory revealed part two. We are looking at the anointing. That agency that can help men to reveal the possibilities in God. I said to you how that the glory of a man, listen please, is an unveiling of the possibilities that are in that man but there is a spiritual agency that empowers men to reveal this possibility the name given to it is the anointing acts chapter 1 verse 8 mm. please be very sensitive a lot will happen tonight a lot will happen tonight this series is meant to truly bring an anointing to your life that you can hold on to it you can run with it and you can take every mountain that stands before you say amen acts chapter 1 verse 8 let's read together one to read but ye shall receive what hold on you shall receive the word power there is the word dunamis it's not the word exousia. There are many words that are translated power and authority interchangeably. Two of them that are very important is exousia and dunamis. Exousia is erroneously translated power in many places in scripture. But exousia is not power. Exousia is an authorization. The capacity to stand in the office of someone and represent him is called exousia. But this is not exousia. This talks of force. The agency that compels compliance. It's called power. Dunamis. So it says you shall receive power. After, read on. That the Holy Ghost is what? Come upon you. What will that power make you do? Read on. It says and ye shall be unto me. Where? In Jerusalem. Uh-huh. Judea, Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the earth. So his idea is that you become witnesses. Who is a witness? A witness is one who validates that the claim of another is true. Are we together? If we are in the court, for instance, please pay attention. I'm establishing a lot. If we are in the court of law, right, and someone stole my phone and while he was stealing it promise saw the person are we together and now we're in the court of law and i say no this guy sam stole my phone the judge will ask do you have any witness and then we will bring promise let's assume promise was snapping 
and in the process of snapping he snapped the man picking it that is the evidence a witness is only a witness because he has an evidence without an evidence you cannot be a witness please listen without an evidence you cannot be a witness I can be I mean a Jimmy can be my brother but in this case he cannot be a witness he can support me in prayer but when we stand in court he does not have evidence everybody say evidence I'm building a case here so promise comes before the judge and then he says are you a witness to this he says yes produce your evidence then he produces a photo and that photo shows the person stealing and based on that evidence the judge so the evidence is the power that has forced the phone to return back to me the anointing is the proof that you are a witness the anointing is the evidence when you stand in this court of life and life places a demand on you to prove that God is with you when your family background brings before you a mountain to prove whether God is with you when the limitation in Nigeria stands before you and says you are a Christian prove that God is with you he says you must receive power the authorization you cannot be a witness so you are going around telling people Jesus saves and they are saying what do you mean Jesus saves Buddha also saves so what is your evidence and then the person levitates in the air this is my evidence Buddha empowered me and they say what is your evidence and then you say baba baba ba, and they say nonsense that's not evidence hmm. are we together when someone comes up on the scene and says I am a free mason I worship the flying dragon of Asia the spirit called Mammon and this is the evidence I have built empires by her wisdom what is your evidence and then you say I'm a Christian I'm just going to heaven what is your evidence please pay attention to tonight's service because life will ask you that question I will never follow a God who cannot prove himself I'm not one of those religious people I took time to ask God questions before I started ministry because the world will ask me questions you will stand before businessmen who are idol worshippers the spirit will give them ideas and they will move forward and you come ranting and speaking like a fool you will stand before arrows that fly by day and noisome pestilences what is your evidence when there is a plague moving and it does not affect you it's an evidence that there is another life in you please hear me this is what I'm trying to teach you in this series there must be an evidence let me tell you why we are talking too much in church a believer was never designed to be a noise maker we were designed to be proof producers our noise is a is a cover up for insufficient evidence do you know you can be in a court and speak and the lawyer will say this evidence is not strong enough there are few things the church is doing that unbelievers are not doing very few very few I have studied a lot on world religions I study a lot on religions and so many things Christianity is not the fastest growing religion I hope you are aware I will tell you why because our strategy is wrong they have proposed strategies that are not very effective the religions that represent the fastest growing religions you never see crusades are we together you never see tracts you never see people with talking moving with bibles all around but there is a harvest per second per second god's ability god's ability is working in me is working in me god's ability god's ability 
on your head in one minute and pray and say Lord there must be an evidence an evidence I'm tired of bringing mockery to your name and misrepresenting you go ahead and pray he shall receive power power not stories power not stories power Hallelujah, please sit down fire is burning in this place I tell you Acts chapter 10 verse 38 please help us media I came to challenge you the way we are doing church and Christianity we are about to disappoint God we need evidences not evidences just from preachers are we together I will never follow a God who cannot prove himself. I'm not one of those people they like, they say, just believe, don't worry in his time. No way. No way. No way. Before Gideon accepted the assignment, he asked questions. Before Mary accepted, she, she said, how shall these things be? Because according to my knowledge, a man and a woman will produce pregnancy. But he said the power of the highest. In other words, there is another root in the spirit. You have known that it's only a man and a woman. You have known that you only wait for five years to get a job. But there is another root. The power of the highest shall overshadow you. See, I bring you another way. There is not only one way of doing things. The world has created their way. But God has his way. How God anointed Jesus. Let me tell you what that means. Look at the extent to which he anointed Jesus. Of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who was anointed this way? Jesus. He was not anointed three days to the cross. He would have had 33 years of wasted experience and three days of impact he was anointed before how many of us have been taught to start moving without empowerment he says as a result of that who went about doing what doing good an example of the good he did was to heal all that were oppressed of the devil that was not the only good he did. He multiplied bread, doing good by the anointing. He forced money inside the mouth of a fish, doing good by the anointing. He multiplied bread and fish by the anointing. He calmed the storm by the anointing. He vindicated a woman who was on her way to death by the anointing. He raised the dead by the anointing. And the Bible says he went about doing good and healing all that they, all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Divine presence bringing the anointing in the life of Jesus and Jesus moved around doing good. You are going around trying to do good. Willing to do good. Meaning to do good. But good is not coming because good is not just a desire. There is an empowerment. Men are empowered to do good. I want to help the poor. There is an anointing that helps you to do good. Write this down. What is the anointing?
please participate and listen patiently and carefully those outside in any of the overflows just pay attention you may be standing but listen number one the anointing is God's seal of authorization upon you to represent him the anointing is God's seal of authorization upon a man upon any man not a preacher God's seal of authorization upon you to represent him every military man has a uniform the uniform is a seal of authorization when the military man is in mufti he has no right to do certain things but when he wears his uniform his uniform and his badge is a seal of authorization are we together mm. Paul said Paul I Paul a man approved of God with miracles signs and diverse manifestations approved of God that is the evidence of my apostleship hallelujah so number one God's seal of authorization upon a man to represent him number two the anointing is God's capacity to produce change and compel compliance write it down underline compel because we live in a stubborn world that will not change by desire it takes power to change things it takes power to change genotype from SS to AA it takes power to change a cancerous cell to a healthy cell it takes power to raise the dead it takes power to prosper hallelujah are we together it takes power to prosper we all want to prosper but we neglect the place of power many people bow to gods bow to spirits receive power from them they sacrifice children turn them upside down and drain their blood and the man takes his pen upon that blood and goes to sign a proposal and then whenever you see it you must approve it that's power and yet many believers just move around and they ask you why should you get this proposal you say i'm sincere welcome to the world where only mantles speak your long story and english will not do you much when moses went to pharaoh he said pharaoh this is what the lord said pharaoh said nonsense he said my rod continue the conversation i don't have time for this rubbish janus and jembers brought their own rod when he swallowed it moses said take note of this i'm coming back and he left after nine plagues pharaoh was still hardened then the bible says yet one more plague will i bring upon pharaoh and the nation of israel he says afterwards he shall let you go and he didn't let them go the bible says they were driven to go out they didn't wait for their dough to rise to make chinchi they were in a hurry they made it anyhow because a man was tired may you anoint in weary darkness to let you go i'm not motivating you there is an unction a man can carry no matter how mad a man is he will not enter fire by mistake give him two minutes that madness will rearrange itself until it comes out because fire was not designed to fear the bible says he maketh his angels winds numa spirits and his ministers flames of fire there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. Please look up. Someone came to me and said, every night there's a spirit that comes to him and oppresses him just when things are about to happen a stranger steps into his room 
and I said it's because that stranger has not seen power the Bible says no man can enter a man's house and spoil him what will you first do discuss suggest bind the strong man he says and then you spoil his goods everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen I prophesy to you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen sing it one more time everything that was lost shall be returned unto me Have you seen someone steal a laptop because he saw a room empty and you steal the laptop and run away with it are we together run away with the laptop because you are more powerful than the person then what does the owner do he goes to the police station and carries a policeman are we together they hold guns and they enter a van then they come and meet the owner after two weeks and say we are going to kill you power above his power what does he do he shows you the laptop is still lying down there quietly and he carries it the bible says, when you catch a thief if he gives you back what he has stolen he has still cheated you he will restore tenfold that profit must be added in the realm of the spirit when you catch a thief he doesn't pay back what he has stolen because time would have gone are we together if the breakthrough had come in 2005 by now you would have helped many people so now that it did not come i'm not just going to receive it like that if you receive it you did it was not restoration it was just progress continued mm. the capacity to produce change and compel compliance if Buhari announces right now and says tomorrow is public holiday, assuming tomorrow were a working day, immediately he speaks. All the armed forces and the military people and paramilitary, he is using authority, not power. What he's using is exousia, his office as a president to speak. But dunamis are the soldiers. So they move on the street with cane, guns, tear gas, and uh, black maria what are they doing compelling compliance if they find you roaming around still trying to sell drugs in your pharmacy they ask you did you not hear what the president said and then you, they hop you into the black maria and penalize you god makes the statement the earth is the lord's he's waiting for you to create that compliance are we together now Number three, we're still defining the anointing. What is the anointing? The anointing, write it down, is the empowerment to manifest the possibilities in God. The empowerment, the capacity to manifest the possibilities in God. The anointing is the empowerment to manifest the possibilities in God it's not enough to chorus and say God is love it's not enough to chorus and say God is mighty are we together now your life must produce the evidence number four the last definition what is the anointing the anointing is the agency to reveal the love and the sovereignty of Jesus Christ the agency to reveal the love and the sovereignty of Jesus. There are two things God is obsessed that they be revealed on the earth. Number one is his love. Number two is his sovereignty. His might as the sovereign ruler. That's where the word Lord comes from. There is a desire in God to see his love find expression in the earth. There is a desire in God to see his sovereignty find expression 
Hallelujah. There are two dimensions to the anointing. Please just write this quickly. That's not really where we are dwelling. We preach many messages on the anointing, but just for us to know. There are two dimensions of the anointing, broadly speaking. Number one, there is the personal anointing that empowers a man to grow and be like Jesus. There is a personal anointing that empowers a man to grow spiritually and be like Jesus. People like Kenneth E. Hagin call it the anointing within. The personal anointing that is for your spiritual growth to, to help you grow to the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ. It is the anointing that teaches you all things. It is the unction from the Holy One that empowers you. Right? The grace of God has appeared unto all men, teaching us to say no. There is the personal anointing to grow and represent Christ. 1 John 2.20, media please. 1 John 2.20 That's the first dimension of the anointing. Every believer in Christ is entitled to that dimension of the anointing. Even that dimension itself can grow. Everyone is entitled. Read after me, please. One to read. It says, But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and as a result, you know all things. You have an unction. Whether you are a preacher, whatever, you, if you are in Christ, you are entitled to this dimension of the anointing. Hallelujah. The second dimension of the anointing, and trust me, I know what I'm saying. The second dimension of the anointing is the anointing that is given to you on account of a spiritual office or an assignment the second dimension of the anointing is the anointing given to you on account of a spiritual office or an assignment that is the anointing of your call the anointing of your destiny the anointing of your destiny is not the same as the anointing of your personal spiritual growth. It's the anointing that backs you up to make sure you fulfill purpose. The anointing that is given to you on account of a spiritual office or an assignment. Write this down. It is the anointing that reveals your destiny. It is the anointing that empowers you to fulfill your assignment on earth. That one comes with discovering your call. That one comes with discovering your place in life and destiny. It doesn't come just because you are born again. Are we together? If God calls you into ministry, there is an anointing that follows you. If God calls you into business, there is an anointing that follows you. The moment you assume that position of being an ambassador, you are ready to take one of the seven mountains that control humans. One of the seven mountains, the mountains of religion, the mountains of government, the mountains of, of, of arts and entertainment, the mountain of media, the mountain of education, the mountain of family, and the mountain of finance. Any one of those mountains God sends you, there is an anointing. Are we together? Because there are rulers of darkness. The Bible tells us, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, he says, but against what? Principalities. Against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places these are rankings and all these spirits are strategically stationed on this mountain listen to my message give me this mountain there i teach on the spiritual dimension of success success is not just by degrees success is not just by intelligence success is not just by being scientific there is a spirituality because there are giants on every mountain but Caleb said give me this mountain hallelujah so there is an anointing that comes with your call there is an anointing that comes with your assignment when God empowers you he puts an anointing upon your life an anointing upon the ministry he has committed to you are we together there is an anointing upon Benihin. 
that produces that result now let me tell you something about this second dimension of the anointing listen this second dimension of the anointing is not operational anytime i want you to understand this are we together there is a timing and there are seasons of its operation this anointing for your assignment is not operational anytime there are three laws that govern its operation one a demand from those who desire to be recipients of it it responds to faith it responds to desire are we together the bible says in acts chapter 4 how that when he was passing the gates beautiful the man was begging for arms and peter told him look on us and he looked at them expecting to receive and he says silver and gold that expectation provokes the anointing blind Bartimaeus cried thou son of david he provoked the anointing that is the anointing people like kenneth e hagen would call the anointing upon it doesn't come all the time anybody that tells you it comes all the time is a liar and doesn't understand anything about the anointing if it's operational in you all the time it will kill you you do not have the physical capacity your body does not have that stamina have you finished preaching and you went back and felt tired it lifted that's what jesus meant by virtue has gone out of me when virtue leaves you prophets in ancient times when the anointing landed upon them for their experience when it lifted some of them were sick for days they had to eat herbs to recover from the stream are we together this anointing is activated at the point of delivery at the point where you have to do that which you were born to do so you can be sleeping in your house the moment there is a demand and it is with respect to your assignment the anointing is like a lion within you are we together that's the reason why you can see a man of god you may not even be able to touch him when he's on stage after the meeting you are hugging him slapping him because something has lifted but if by any mistake you're hugging you apply faith to it it will return that's what makes people just they are laughing and the next thing the power of god because their hunger did not die with the service are we together so many people were touching jesus and a woman came he said if i may but touch the hem of his garment jesus was not even aware but it was automatic the moment there was a demand that anointing that messianic anointing that will fulfill isaiah 61 to bind up the brokenhearted The anointing that is given on account of your assignment two scriptures to help us isaiah 61 please will not read it um will not project it just write it isaiah 61 from verse 1 to 4 the spirit of the lord is upon me upon me because he gave me an assignment that requires an authorization so because of that the spirit of the lord is upon me and with that spirit came an anointing to preach glad tidings to bind up the brokenhearted right to set the captives free to open up the doors of prison to declare the acceptable year of the lord and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all day that morning zion to give them beauty for ashes a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they may be called oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified the anointing came for that reason jesus reiterated it again in luke chapter 4 when you read from verse 14 to 18 the bible says they brought to him right that which was written by Isaiah the prophet and then he opened it and he began to read the spirit of the lord is upon me and at the end of it he said this day is this scripture fulfilled i have come as a fulfillment of this then he began to do it in one of the synoptic gospels there and then he told a man with a withered hand stretch forth your hand as a proof that i have come what is the purpose of the anointing i've said it to us but we must the purpose is is encapsulated in the definition but the purpose of the anointing isaiah 10 27 isaiah 10 27 isaiah 10 27 the bible says 
I like us to read it together. It's projected. One, two, read. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed. Why? Listen, please look up. There are yokes, there are burdens, there are afflictions upon the lives and the destinies of men upon the families of men robbing men of their dignity mocking God's statement that he made man like him and it takes the anointing to correct that error are we together the anointing comes to lift burdens the anointing comes to break yokes the anointing comes to open up prison doors to them that are bound. Number two, Psalm 66 verse 3. Psalm 66 verse 3. Let's read it please. Just write it and look up and let's read. One, two, read. Say unto God, uh huh. Read on. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to thee. Not through the greatness of grammar, not through English and negotiation. On the strength of the excellency of your power. Listen, let me tell you something. You are liable for oppression the moment you find yourself here unfortunately it is not given to you to choose to arrive here are we together the moment you are born there are children who from birth they are already born with all kinds of sicknesses are we together they never chose it is the reality listen let me tell you the moment you cross the second heavens the domain of evil can find expression the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord the Bible says but from the second heavens demonic activities are authorized to find expression down till under the earth that's what happens to children the moment it's not a man and a woman that produces children they just create the body for the child to come but the moment that child arrives right from the interface of the second heavens war begins over the destiny of the child it's left for the father and the mother to be spiritual enough to secure the destiny of the child or careless enough to allow anything happen are we together yeah that is why you hear that children are initiated from the womb how can you initiate a child whose faculty of reasoning is not there are we together is it not in your bible that john was filled with the holy ghost from the womb how did he pray in tongues how did he manifest that hallelujah I want to show you four keys to accessing the anointing this this is the place where I want us to be sensitive now because you are not only going to hear you are going to receive Amen. hallelujah please believe me you are not going to hear alone you are going to receive Amen. I enter the holy of holy I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor I am. I enter the Holy of Holies. I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor I am. Holy Spirit, we wait on you. Holy Spirit, I wait on you. 
Holy Spirit, I wait on you for fire. Kaba kaba ya, for fire. Lord, we wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. You can make tonight your night of encounter. Listen. There was a time in my life the anointing was not upon me. I was not born with it. Are we together? A time can come and tonight can be that time. If you believe. But if you are careless, Elijah said, if you can see me, was he blind? It's a spiritual language. There is a measure of sensitivity it takes to truly grab the anointing. It's not about falling down. Look at me. It's not about falling down. It's about your spirit. Station. You are not just hearing. You are seeing what the Lord is saying. Let me tell you something. The difference between you and the next level of your life is the anointing. There is nothing that will cover for the absence of the anointing. I know it. You reign, you ancient Zion king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you were mighty on your throne. Just follow me, follow me. You reign, you ancient Zion king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you were mighty on your own. Break forth, thou fountains of the deep, and weep, Kadosh, you were mighty on your own. Yeah, yeah. Mighty in this place, yeah. Abba Shaba Kataya, you're mighty in this place. Shalom, shalom, my father, shalom. Shalom, you're welcome in this place. Shalom, Jehovah, Abba Shakatabayada. Shalom, you're welcome in this place. Yeah. sensitive what are the keys that have turned ordinary men to wonders workers of miracles what can a man do what is the secret that can open up this fountain in the spirit for no man is born with this thing hear me there is a key there are keys 
No man is born with unction. Jesus himself. What can make a man of God so powerful that your words can create an effect in the life of men? You are speaking from one end and someone outside is shaking like a leaf. What is the key? Please hear me. This is an office. I'm not speaking to you as a man. I can speak to you as a man who has researched this truth. But I speak to you as a custodian of the mystery of this thing. I may not show you, I may not boast that I know business principles. I may not boast that I know on leadership. But I can teach you the mysteries of the presence of God. For it is an office. It was given to me by Jesus Christ. The angels bow before him. You're beautiful. Mm. Beautiful. The heavens are not the door. The angels bow before you. You're beautiful. Yeah. You're beautiful. Just follow me tonight. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. The heavens and earth adore you. understand what I'm teaching you tonight and you will walk in a new dimension believe me understand what I'm teaching you tonight and your ministry will change like day and night understand what I'm teaching you tonight and you will become like a God upon the earth understand what I'm teaching you tonight and your ranking will change instantly in the spirit understand what I'm teaching you tonight and your life will become a wonder it's not by quoting scripture it's a realm you can stand in number one the first key to accessing the anointing is salvation don't trivialize it write it and take it as serious as anything there are many people in church who are not born again but they want power there are many pastors on the altar who are not born again but they want power you can fast as an unbeliever you will never find power you can be the pa of a man of god and not be born again please hear me that they ordained you does not mean you are born again are you hearing what i'm saying ah i tell you i sense fire in this place that you were ordained they poured oil on you does not mean that you are born again let me tell you we can do what we know to do on earth but it depends on whether god approves of it or not ah, 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 ah. That's what I'm hearing in the spirit.
John chapter 1 verse 12 we have to hurry up because God will soon sit in this place the weight of his glory but as many as received him meaning not everybody will receive him as many as received him to them gave he what power the power is for those who receive him not those who are near him not those who go to where he is proximity to god is not salvation let me tell you the truth there are so many people who need to examine their born again i am telling you this there are many people who are not born again are we together and i don't mean just by religious activities no an encounter with jesus christ no there are people who are not born again you will say this and many people will argue with you but the way the early church were born again when they were born again fire fell on them salvation the power to become is for those who receive for those who receive him they are the type God will back God does not back everybody just because Jesus died for everybody does not mean you just speak and things happen you know it's and, and please if you're a pastor here hear me aside from the impartation you receive tonight open your eyes don't think it's just by wearing suit and holding a mic though no, the power of God is here all these things we keep doing we fool ourselves nothing will cover for the absence of an encounter not suit not English not Greek and Hebrew there must be a track record in the secret place he said that which I tell you in the secret declare thou on the mountain top you don't just come and stand and because they gave you a mic you expect things to happen no sir human beings are not robots are we together human beings are not idiots do you know the power it takes to lift a man off his seat I don't mean physically alone track record salvation number two the second key give us first corinthians 2 verse 9 the second key pay attention to a rich heavy deposit of the anointing upon your life that is undeniable is addiction and passion for god and his kingdom addiction passion i'll give you more than a song for a song in itself is that what you have required you search much deeper within to the way things are you're looking into my heart i'm coming back It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. There is no power for part time Christianity. There is no power for part time addiction. There is no power for part time ministry. So many pastors are part time ministers. By part time, I don't mean that you are doing another thing. Part time with God and part-time with ambition looking for relevance joining all kinds of stupid associations to quickly rise the ladder of ministry no it is God that lifts men please hear me your addiction for God must supersede your addiction for money must supersede your addiction for church your addiction for Versace and Boss and Gucci. Your addiction for cars and houses. If you want God's power. Except if you want to go and see a herbalist. But if you want the power that comes from heaven. It must match your level of addiction. You will never have more power beyond your addiction. No. Your addiction defines the flow of the anointing. How addicted are you? to God as a person. Two, how addicted are you 
to his kingdom to seeing his kingdom come don't say i'm addicted it shows in your giving it shows in your time it shows in your service in the house of god don't tell me you are addicted to god when you can be comfortable and come and sit in a ministry for months and years and you are not part of building that house you are not addicted no it says as the deer pants after the water brooks so my soul pants after you it was the psalmist that said this he says oh lord you are my god he said early will i seek you my soul thirst for you right to see your power and your glory let me tell you something many christians in our generation we love god we are born again but we are too ashamed of our addiction addiction the same way have you seen someone addicted to uh, what they call this thing indian hemp the person will not mind coming to meet a small child and say sir please give me 10 naira. i have not eaten he's lying so obviously but because he cannot help it if you can still manage your passion for god you don't love him enough Oh, let's let's be real let's let's not act like fools you are joking you want power i'm telling you you must fall in love with god with all your heart not fall in love with the healing anointing many of us are i you know i pray for people and most times when people come that i pray for them so that they will receive double portion or triple portion or whatever i know they don't love god they even love me more than god i see it in their expression that they only love me because we have taught that you should honor a man you know that they love me more than god you know they love that anointing more than god anything above god even if he gave you is an idol whatever it is please hear me do you love god more than your beauty do you love god more than power do you love god more than koinonia do you love god more than joshua selman that's addiction do you love god more than marriage do you love God more than more than whatever it's all these carnal things that take our time? Please fall in love with God in a way that nothing in time. People get jobs. When they lose jobs, they backslide. What a shame to your passion for God. You are in a relationship. Someone says, I will marry you. All of a sudden, he says, I'm not doing. And you leave God. God, I'm angry. Jesus told the disciples, he said, will you also go? And they said, to whom shall we go? Where, where are we going? Leaving you is no longer an option. If you never bless me, I still, I mean, I still owe you my love forever. Please, let me tell you something. If you want power from God, stop seeking God just because of things. Stop seeking God just because of things. Oh Lord, I want your time. I want your hand and we bend God's hand with fasting and prayer no how many pastors want to see God glorified in their assemblies very little I can tell you this many pastors fast some of you are like that probably you came from somewhere you are sitting boiling waiting for the time of impartation and God is saying calm down not so so that you will not go back disappointed God is not a herbalist there is a protocol to true spiritual power addiction addiction outspoken christianity outspoken christianity not the type you off your ringtone because you are in a place that 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 will fall your hand if god falls your hand you are falling i tell you i rather be a doorkeeper the psalmist said I will trade my palace and its honor to serve God. Forever you will be. Forever you will be. The lamb upon the throne. The lamb upon the throne. And I gladly bow. To worship you. MOG. It's time to seek God more than ministry. 
your ministry is distracting you and killing you from God you have carried ministry and put on your head like a luggage that came from demons and you you will afford for your secret place to suffer so that you will fulfill a ministerial schedule I can cancel any ministration for my secret place you know we think being busy is ministry oh today i'm in hawaii tomorrow i'm in dubai next tomorrow i'm in south africa next tomorrow i'm in uk then i'm in Accra, i'm in london and we think because we are hopping up and down we are doing ministry let me tell you you may be doing all these things but before god you are not doing anything your heart is more important than your voice to god don't think because you are always talking it means god is hearing you no your heart number three let's hurry up i want us to pray what is the third key the baptism of the holy ghost the third key to fire in your life is the baptism of the holy ghost slash prayers so you write it slash prayers that the experience of the baptism of the holy spirit first corinthians chapter 2 verse 7 the baptism of the holy spirit backed up by the ability to pray in tongues fluent tongues now there's no time for me to go into this discussion please don't stop mike don't stop you see this concept of prayer and the concept of the baptism of the holy spirit has been hijacked by satan please listen to me it is not a denominational perspective it has nothing to do with pentecostalism and charismatism i was never filled with the holy ghost in any church there is no pastor no denomination that can claim that it was because i was in the assembly no god did that for me specifically so that i will be able to communicate these truths to people the devil has cheated us and i know many of us is in fear so that we don't get into witchcraft and diabolism i understand and i respect your passion but listen to me if you want power in this kingdom that endowment with power that endowment with power ye shall receive power after that the holy ghost comes upon you acts chapter 2 from verse 1 to 4 says now when the day of pentecost were fully come he said they were gathered together in one accord verse 2 says suddenly suddenly not gradually the baptism does not happen gradually suddenly are we together suddenly they had a sound that sound as of a mighty rushing wind and the bible says it came and filled the room and then the bible says they saw what looked like cloven tongues as of fire and it rested on each each one of them not some they're not as shared each one of them then the bible says then they began to speak with tongues as the holy ghost gave them utterance they were 120 in the upper room it was such an experience that all the people around that place came and saw the mighty things they were doing and they said these men were drunk with new wine they linked that experience with wine the same way a man drinks beer one bottle two bottles ten bottles at the eleventh one is not himself again another influence takes him so when they saw the men he said you are behaving like those who have taken this thing are we together now and then in acts chapter 3 still well acts chapter 2 when peter finished preaching to them the bible says they were caught to the heart and this is what they said men and brethren what shall we do and then he says repent for the remission of your sins and then he says you shall receive this promise for the promise is unto you and your children and your children's children and as many as are far off as many as the lord will call that included us are we together yeah 
in Acts chapter 19 from verse 1 to 4 is the most classic explanation of the baptism of the Holy Spirit Paul having passed through the upper coast the Bible says he came and he found certain disciples disciples they were already born again give us Acts please 19 1 to 4 they had passed through the upper coast the Bible says Paul came and found certain disciples are we together and then he asked them a question verse 2 he says have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believe meaning it's not the same experience has been born again initiated by the same spirit but there are two separate experiences have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed and then they replied him they said we have not even heard if there be any Holy Ghost and Paul was surprised and then he says unto what then were you baptized he was asking them a question and they said the baptism of John then Paul began to explain to them he said the baptism of John was a baptism of repentance that they should believe on the one who was to come that means it was Jesus Christ and afterwards Paul said the, the Bible says they were now baptized to the name of Jesus Christ and then Paul laid his hands upon them and then the Holy Spirit came upon them and they spoke with tongues right they were 12 in number have you received the Holy Ghost have you received that empowerment since you believed when you read let's read from 18 18 the last five verses if you can give it to us right the Bible talks about a very intelligent man hallelujah um no not 19 verse 18 18 Acts 18 Acts 18 please the last four verses Acts 18 Media, are you with us? Acts 18. Okay, let's just let's just turn there so we don't waste time. Okay. Now the Bible says, give us from verse 24. Let's start from 24. Listen to this story. A certain Jew named who? Apollos. And the Bible says Apollos was born at Alexandria. He said he was a man who was mighty in scriptures. He was eloquent. He was an orator. Are we together? And then the Bible says he came to Ephesus. Ephesus is not the place you come and preach nonsense. It's where Paul got his revelation of the highest church truth. There was a goddess called Diana in Ephesus. She was the goddess that controlled that center of economy. So you had to be sound and mighty in scriptures. Now Apollos came. Next verse. 25. He said the man was instructed in the way of the Lord. And was what? Fervent in spirit. Zealous. The Bible says. And he spake and taught diligently the things of the Lord. But he had a limitation. What was his limitation? Knowing only the baptism of John. He was born again and he knew repentance like many people in churches like many pastors they are zealous they love god but the scope of the understanding of god is the baptism of john let's see what happened one day he went to a crusade to impress everybody as usual he says and he began to speak in the synagogue and then there were two strange men in that synagogue they were men who were powerful people of the spirit called Aquila and Priscilla they said when they had him and they they took him with them they said we see zeal in you but you are limited there is a theology that has not been taught to you we want to upgrade your scope of the understanding of God the Bible says they took him hear me and then they says they expounded to him the way of God more what perfectly let's see what he did as a result next verse and when he was disposed and passed to Achaia, the brethren wrote exhorting the disciples to receive him. The Bible says, who when he was come, he helped them much which believed through grace. Let's see what he did. Next verse. For he mightily convinced the Jews. Now he had an evidence. He didn't just speak to them. In the former verses, he was eloquent. Sorry. But now he could convince them 
that publicly showing by the scriptures that Jesus was the Christ this was not just just again there was an evidence there was an empowerment listen you must be tired of explanations oh God is this God is that one miracle can answer a thousand questions there is no amount of message you want to preach that will impress men again the internet is full of messages there are all kinds of men of God with perspectives all across Africa all across the world messages are now free what the world needs is a demonstration of power Romans chapter 8 please verse 19 Romans chapter 8 for the earnest expectation of the creator waited for the manifestation not the explanation not the discussion let's see it in the new living translation or the message bible I'm looking for the version that says creation is waiting for the sons to reveal who they truly are there is a version like that 8 verse 19 not 20 8 verse 19 8 verse 19 uh, thank you NLT for creation is what eagerly waiting for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are because the Bible says it does not yet appear they are still looking at us and they think we are like them but there is an activity happening in us the bible says behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of god are we together the bible says now are we the sons of god and it does not yet appear what we shall be like we are still in the formation there is still a building christ is still being formed in us like paul prayed to the church he said my little children of whom i travel until christ be formed for when he's done let me tell you he will produce a wonder in our lives first corinthians 2 verse 7 quickly and then we'll go to the last key and we'll pray first corinthians 2 verse 7 he says talking about the mystery of this language of the spirit he said no please give it to us um okay no problem no problem let's just stick with it it says no the wisdom we speak it doesn't make sense but the bible calls it the hidden wisdom god put it like that so that only humble people can walk in it if you are not humble enough to receive that hidden wisdom the bible says we speak the wisdom we speak of is what the mystery everybody say mystery the same way there is a traditional festival and you see people going around fire and making enchantments and putting fire on their body have you seen that happen and it doesn't burn them they put the fire in their mouth and bring it out they carry knife and put it in their mouth and it enters and brings it out because they are operating on a mystery the bible says to the believer there is a mystery that has been given you It says the mystery of God his plan that was he previously hidden what was it he said even though he made it for our ultimate glory so one secret to your entering the glory is this mystery called tongues when a man locks up himself and begins to pray people say you are just talking nonsense no problem it's the same way you talk nonsense and call it laughter <laughs> and nobody laughs at you it's intelligent in fact people accuse you for not laughing who taught you how to laugh the same way your cry as sarcastic as it looks it compels compassion tongues is also like that don't let anybody tell you you are taught to pray in tongues when you slap a baby Shade, when you gave birth to your child and they slapped the child and the child started crying who taught the child that they cry with the mouth not the eyes it was programmed there 
listen I want you to know that the believer is supernatural when you remove the supernatural we are just herbalists leaders or, and followers of a religion don't remove the supernatural dimension hallelujah made for our glory any man who does not pray cannot reveal the glory of God there is a relationship between prayer and power Acts 1 verse 8 you shall receive power Acts 2 verse 1 to 4 they receive tongues Jesus didn't say you will receive tongues he said you receive power but in Acts chapter 2 they receive tongues meaning there is a system that tongues uses to translate and produce power in a man it was Paul himself that said I thank my God I pray in tongues more than ye all hallelujah Luke 18 verse 1 he spake a parable unto them to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint first Thessalonians 5 17 pray without season it doesn't mean pray from morning till night you'll be an irresponsible person it means pray consistently the Bible says and the fire upon the altar it shall never go down day or night let me tell you something whatever attacks your prayer life has really destroyed your life it's cheaper for your finances to be attacked than for your prayer life it's cheaper as bad as it is for your health to be attacked than your prayer life and let me tell you how satan attacks you he makes you to resent everybody that can help you you fight and quarrel them and push them when you are alone then he attacks you satan never attacks you until he creates an occasion through bitterness, through anger, through fault finding. So everybody that can help you and intercede for you, he cuts you away from them and then he leaves you alone. Solitude is a sign that darkness is close to you. Listen, listen. Excessive solitude, I'm not talking of just retreating to pray. When there is a desire in you to not hear people, to not listen, you are in a world of your own, it's a sign that darkness is close to you. It's a strategy for your destruction. The last key to receiving unction to reveal the glory is called impartation. The mystery of impartation. Transference of grace. Transference of unction. Transference of power. Numbers chapter 27 we'll just look at one example so that we pray let's see what transpired between Moses and Joshua a classic sign of biblical impartation numbers 27 verse 18 to 23 numbers chapter 27 please write this scripture down and study it with all your heart this was God instructing Moses to prepare Joshua for ministry are we together are you ready? Let's read. One to read. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take thee Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit, and do what? Lay your hands upon him. That's what should happen. Next verse. And set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation, and give him a charge in their sight. Are we together? And he says, and thou shalt put some of thine honor. Can you show me where honor is in a man? God said, don't just, through impartation, transfer your spirit, transfer your honor. I told you honor is not something you fight for. It's a mantle. That all the congregation of the children of Israel may be obedient there is a mantle that makes men loyal to a grace it's not by shouting and saying obey me there is a mantle and he shall stand before Eleazar the priest who shall speak counsel for him and so on and so forth and so on and so forth now let's see what happened Deuteronomy chapter 3 chapter 34 verse 9 just one scripture. Deuteronomy 34. It's still a continuation of this story. Deuteronomy 34. 
verse 9. Let's read together. One, two, read. Uh huh. Was full of the spirit of wisdom. Why? For Moses had what? Laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him. Listen. You know why people don't listen to you? Because you are trying to do ministry using seniority. You are trying to do ministry saying, don't disrespect me. There is an unction that compels loyalty. Men are not loyal to a man just because he can preach. They will clap for you. When you see a ministry that can follow a man unto death, brothers and sisters, there is a mystery upon his head. I can tell you Koinonia has that mystery. You see, ba, there are secrets in this kingdom. There are secrets in this kingdom. The one you can find is the one you will live by. The one you do not know is the one that will change you forever. God said, I want to honor Joshua, but I will not ignore a vessel who is already carrying it. He said, Moses, it is within your power to put your spirit and your honor upon him. Listen, you can carry a man's grace and the virtue of God upon his life and reap. You can trace an anointing and know where it came from. Are we together? You can see a man stand on stage and know that this came from Benihim. This one. You can see this prayer fire and know this one came from Duncan Williams. This one did not just come from this. You can see a prosperity mantle and trace it. Anointings are like address. They can show you where they came from. I'm a product of many anointings. The glory revealed through the anointing. The anointing giving you capacity to produce an evidence. An evidence and evidence there are different kinds of anointings there is the power to prosper shout it say the power to prosper i want you to shout it like you mean it say the power to prosper, the power to prosper. this is what many people need to pray for i'm not against business ideas i teach you principles there's financial dominion but i can tell you there is such a thing as the power to prosper. If you don't have it, I've seen people who have all kinds of business ideas. But the power to prosper is not a business idea. The power to prosper is a grace that compels creation to respond to you in a certain way. Jesus had it. He said, go. And you will see a donkey, a coat. No man had written on it. Bring it. The owner could not say no. What kind of grace is that? That's the grace that will make you tell somebody, we need speakers for our program. And he said, take it. That's the grace that will make somebody say, take my car and be using it for this crusade. There is such a grace. Let me tell you something. How you will know the power to prosper is not in your life is that you pay for everything. If you pay for everything, the power to prosper is not. It's not about being a millionaire. The power to prosper is not about being a millionaire. It's about the supernatural speaking in your life. Men are rising to help you when there is trouble. Listen, if you are in trouble and there is no man who can arise to help you, I'm telling you, the power to prosper is not the power for finances. We have reduced it to money. Every time preachers preach, they, they mean the power to give you dollars. Please, don't insult God. Money was an idea. By the time that scripture was written, there was no naira, there was no dollar. It's the power that moves you forward. Even if it must raise helpers from anywhere. I want you to believe this by the grace of God this is how this ministry came the power to prosper listen please I don't know how I don't want you to think money 
money is part of it if you think money you will be you will think i am saying the power to get money to buy watch and suit that's nonsense that's not what i'm talking about to prosper means to do well to prosper means by all means you will excel are we together the pros the power to prosper is the power that moves men to support your interest at the expense of their own interest when you see a man a man who can leave his own assignment and pursue another man's assignment there is power to prosper there that's what God wanted to give us but pastors have told us the power to prosper is the power to buy a nice shoe and you sit down pray for hours you don't need to be born again to buy a nice shoe you just need to offer value and it will come this is this is not about getting money for shoe the power that causes men to move you forward you can have money but do you have helpers you can have money but do you have endorsers you can have money but do you have men that can lift your hand this is the power to prosper say I need the power to prosper the key to suffering in a Christian's life is to ignore the power to prosper believe me you may get a job very soon you find out that money does not do everything money is not everything money is very important don't get me wrong but money is not everything there are people today who are in houses that they are not paying the rent that's the power to prosper you can have 500,000 to rent a duplex you can have 2.5 million to rent a duplex that's not necessarily the power to prosper that's good financial acumen good financial intelligence and that's commendable but the power to prosper is that you can leave your house with nothing and return back with miracles because there are men stationed anywhere whether you forget your money or not it doesn't make any difference because there is an unction that sends helpers as at when due that's the power to prosper and if our God is for us then who can never stop us and if our God is with us then what can stop us help me Of the power to prosper is the ministry of men in your life the ministry of men in your life help us everywhere please listen it's not just intelligence to produce results by yourself this body is limited there is too much you can do there is only so much you can do with this body are we together yes see let me tell you something if the only job of the power to prosper is to give you money then Bill Gates can mock the church are we together you know we think all there is to the power to prosper is money I don't insult any man of God we have preached this thing but I'm saying we have limited the power to prosper to money so those who don't like money just say no 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 I don't like it to reject the power to prosper is like to cut two of your legs in the spirit how else will you move are we together the Bible says David was in the cave of Adullam by himself all of a sudden 400 men that's the power to prosper they came to him in the cave and they said be a leader of the, over us we will hear you and we will walk with you in ancient times you were not rich if you just had money they can come and beat you and kill you and remove your head and carry the gold you were rich if you had people people it was a battle of territory and loyalty but in our generation now you can be a, a greedy person that just looted from the national treasury and carry money and buy suits and come and deceive us we know what the power to prosper is there are people who are rich but they do not have it that's why they don't give god the glory when you suffer for everything you can't give god the glory are we together you suffer to get a job you suffer to keep it you suffer to buy a car you suffer to change another one you suffer to get your wife pregnant suffering all around how can you give God the glory but when you sit down and watch God God will say son I want to embarrass you stand still you have done something that has touched me stand still 
Hallelujah. One time we're coming back from Ekiti. And when we're coming back from Ekiti, I don't share too much of these testimonies. But someone just did a heavy transfer into the ministry's account. Honestly, I don't even know the person. I had to ask the protocol people, do you know this person? Help us everywhere. Not just cash. Not just kind. Someone will come and meet you and say there is a property somewhere. I could not sleep. The Lord said I should bless you. Power to prosper. Someone says from today until December, I will fuel the generator of Koinonia. Don't even tell apostle. That's the power to prosper. They make your journey easy by making you lighter. You can have the money, but you won't sleep because of it. Let me tell you, one of the graces I trust God to release tonight is the power to prosper. I'm explaining it to you so that you will believe. If it's not in your life, you are going to cry this night. Because some of us, it, once you are stranded, you are dead there. No helper. You call and everybody ends your call. It's not about hustling. It's about Ebenezer, the helper of Zion. Are we together? If you don't believe what I'm teaching you, I don't know how else to explain it to you. Are we together? There are so many people in Koinonia here preparing for marriage. The economy of Nigeria has become so fierce. If you don't have the power to prosper, you will suffer. You can get a job after laboring for years in the university. You get a job and someone just says, where are you from? And you say, I'm Yoruba. He says, you are not Hausa. Leave the job. It just brings in sentiments to cancel your five, six, seven years of labor. That's the world we live in now. Are we together? Are you my brother? Are you a Christian or otherwise? Are you this? Are you from the same village? Not what do you have to give? In that world of wickedness, you want to move forward? You want to plant a church? I was not born in Zaria. I'm not from Kaduna State. You don't go to another man's state and do ministry if you don't have the power to prosper. There is loyalty that comes with territory. Are we together? That's why Jesus told the people, start from Jerusalem. But when you go to a foreign territory, brothers and sisters, you need the power to prosper. That's what our fathers have used. And they have opened branches of their ministries in UK, in France. Huh? Someone speaks Yoruba and another person interprets in French. And the people never leave. There is a pastor writing things in France. And people would rather stay there and redeem MFM is there moving as if the devil does not exist you will find places where I was I was dedicating a woman's child um, she used to be in Zaria but now she's in France she was in Holland God used us you know and then there was a miracle for her after many years she had a child and she went to different churches the Presbyterian churches there were not dedicating children they didn't collect tithes and they were not dedicating children because the government was sanctioning and I told her I said uh uh you mean there's no church around and she said the only living church in this area is redeemed i said redeemed again redeemed again how did you get there now and the pastor there is a yoruba person come on now power to prosper you enter a land and become indomitable a firm grasp of territories not intimidated by any government they will come and go the mystery keeps you there now they are downsizing workers between now and december a lot will happen i've told us i told us at first of january this thing will not go well in terms of the economy i'm not a prophet of doom but i told us there is a mystery of exemption that's why god said this are year of multiplied grace and influence isaiah 60 verse 1 to 3 it says gentiles shall come hallelujah if you are looking for a better Nigeria this year, I tell you the truth under God, you are joking. I love Nigeria. Are we together? I'm a very loyal citizen of this nation.
but this is prophecy it's an unfolding of events some things will happen the only thing is that there is an exemption the power to prosper please you, you we, when it's time to pray you will cry it in your life that's what makes you different from unbelievers are we together that's the only condition where you can look at your life and give God glory you say no I know the school fees of my children before I will go to pay it someone has paid it and he will never tell you who he is write it again if you did not write it the ultimate proof that the anointing to prosper is upon your life is the ministry of men the ministry of helpers not just business ideas it takes men to make things happen have you not seen people with ideas and they died with their ideas someone called pastor Tunde Bakare and told him he said I love you and I've invested 200 million in an investment for you it's just growing whenever you need it they can talk to you and he said what for he said I'm okay and the man said no I had to do it you are my pastor hi when a man argues with you about blessing you there is such a thing and we are going to pray there are many other anointings the power listen the power to heal the sick there are three I'm going to teach us ah, there's no time let me just go straight to the three that the Lord told me that's number one the power to prosper number two are you ready it's called resurrection power don't claim you know what it is just listen to me resurrection power is about the apex the zenith of a man's manifestation of the anointing what is resurrection the ability to make dead things come back to life is the hallmark of creation are we together let me tell you something there is resurrection power the Bible says Ephesians please help us Ephesians 1 verse 17 we are reading down to 20 for this call Paul says for this cause I Paul I bow my knees right to the father of glory that he may give unto you listen the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him next verse the eyes of your understanding being enlightened or flooded with light he said that he may what know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints here it comes verse 19 read it if you're a christian one to go and what is the exceeding greatness of his what power to us who believe according to the working of his mighty power what mighty power next verse which he wrought in christ when he what raised him the power that can raise a thing that has died is power indeed the power that can heal what is alive is power but the power that can raise what is dead come on you carry that anointing and enter a lifeless environment and something gives life Isaiah 32 verse 15 we are praying this one scripture and then we we'll stand up and pray let me show you that there is an ability that can bring life to dead things it is called resurrection power brothers and sisters get this anointing and your life will change no matter what it is it's a matter of time and influence upon you read it 32 want to read until the spirit be poured upon us from on high then what happens and the wilderness be counted for a fruitful vine uh -huh. and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest that's the power of resurrection you step into a desert place spirit have your way in us today spirit take your throne as we are changed
restoration together with the power of resurrection and the power to prosper will make you indomitable believe me verse 2 verse 2 and cause me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many bones and they were what? Very dry. Listen, you will step into the life of people with age-long issues. The devil has stolen from them. It's not just that the situation is dead. It was stolen. Then, son of man, verse 3, he says, can these bones live? And he says, only thou West. Verse 4 This is one key To releasing the anointing And he said unto me Prophesy Speak Hagar Speak Command Hagar Instruct Compel Let it be Upon these bones And say unto them O ye dry bones who speaks to bones? Who speaks to bones? Dogs eat bones. Men throw bones. God speaks to bones. It says, Hear ye the word of the Lord. And then let's read verse 5. And behold, I will cause bread to enter you. Go to verse 7. So I prophesied, not as I wanted, as I was commanded. And there was what? A noise. The same noise in Acts chapter 2 verse 1. There was a sound. And behold, a shaking. And the Bible says, and behold, bones came together. This is not just resurrection. This is restoration. Are we together? We are going to pray. Hold hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to blast in tongues like an angry man who is tapping into power. Lift your voice and pray. Pray like a man, like a woman who is about to take delivery of unction to function praise reketepo kocho
Alléluia. Alléluia. I like you to look in one minute at your life. See the barriers that have stood before you. Because they are about to be smashed into pieces. Something is about to come upon your life. That will move you forward. Something is about to come upon your life. That will drive you to the next level. Something is about to come upon your life. The power to run. The power to run. The power to run. The power to fly. Please lift your hands. Listen, it is not about falling down. Don't be distracted with falling down. Open your spirit and receive something that will change your life. Don't just focus on falling down. The Holy Ghost is doing his thing. But beyond falling down, open up your heart to receive. Children, adults, don't say no. Some people cannot receive. You have a child, stand for them. Don't say they cannot receive. Hallelujah. Paul said, For I long to see you, that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. The glory of God is revealed in a man when there is an anointing. Right now in the name that is above all names. I stand upon this apostolic and prophetic office. And I declare that at the count of three. By the ministry of angels. By the unction. By the ministry and the mystery that surrounds this office right now at the count of three I declare that this unction fall inside and outside online and everywhere one two three take it take it take it right now receive it power receive it Fire Shaka Baba Katala Baba inside the overflows right now, right now, right now. Every row, every row, every column, every row. The thousands following online. I release it upon you. You that are listening in your home, you that are listening in your room. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost in your life, in your ministry, in your business. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power. Take it now. Lift your hand. There is an anointing called the power to prosper. Lift your hands and receive it. I pray for you now. Shaka Paratai. I have seen this in my life. I have seen this in this ministry. The ministry of men making your life easy. Right now, in the name of Jesus, receive the power to prosper. Take the power to prosper. Take it 
take the power to prosper in your ministry take the power to prosper in your job the power to prosper in your academics the power to prosper in your business the power to prosper by this anointing every struggle in your life where you labor by yourself for result it comes to an end this night it comes to an end this night number two the power that can quicken things if that same spirit which raised Christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body that same spirit will revitalize ay, 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 ay. will revitalize hallelujah the Lord is giving me a sign for many of you to be your right hand I don't know what I'm saying but your right hand in a supernatural way your right hand I see the right hand of many people shaking this is what the Lord is showing me right now that anointing for resurrection all over this auditorium take it now take it now take it now take it now every dead thing come alive come alive Talita Kumi come alive Talita Kumi dead academics dead relationship Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a very simple song. Lift your voice and sing it to your maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I look at this lady and I see a spirit, a very serious spirit. Hold my hands. The Lord will deliver you huh? from that spirit. Because this is something that wants to destroy your life. Is your sister here? Where's her sister? Is her sister here? Is she here? I need to pray for both of you because I'm seeing an attack coming to your family. There is a spirit that I saw, and this is something that has to do with somebody dying. Hallelujah. Who is here? Where is she? Please, let's save time um, very quickly so that we can. We have to pray. I'm seeing death in your family. This is somebody's obituary God wants to avert. 
you can help her hold her baby if she won't cry. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. For you specifically, there is a spirit that torments you. I need to pray for you. Leading you into things that you do not want to do. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Not, not Pastor Femi. Femi. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Femi, who is Femi? Please, if, if I call your case, please just save our time and come quickly. Femi. Your name is Femi? Who is a visitor? You are the one. From where? Come. From where? Jigawa. Eh? Jigawa. From Jigawa State. Yes. You came sir. from Jigawa State. Yes, sir. The Lord is going to set you on fire. Yes, take sir. you back there. You didn't just come yes, sir. just for a meeting. I know you just yes, thought sir. you came to receive. I've called you several times. Sir. Eh? I've called your number several times. You know you You will receive that which you desire. Praise the Lord. Yes. My brother, I'm going to pray for you. Victoria. Victoria. I hear a name Victoria. Please, who is Victoria? Let me just respond to you. Victoria. Victoria. There is a Victoria trusting God for a change of genotype. Genotype. You're trusting God for a change of genotype. I don't know if it has to do with um, S, S, A, S, anyone like that. This is a Victoria I see. I want to minister to. A Victoria that is trusting God for a change of genotype. We have to frustrate come we have to frustrate the power stopping your marriage look at me we have to frustrate the power that is stopping your marriage huh because it's God's desire for you to settle down soonest you understand this is this is the devil is not going to lord it over you we are going to pray please I want you to believe I don't have to call your case I'm just flowing because the Holy Spirit is impressing it strongly upon me and then we'll just get into prayer Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, visit this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother? Who is sick? Who is sick in your family? My mom. Because I'm seeing that, ah, we have to pray. I have, we have to pray. Hmm? This is December. Your mother will just sleep and they will tell you, I'm not a prophet of doom. They will tell you that she's dead. She has been talking about death. We have to rebuke this thing. She has been seeing dead people in her dream. She sleeps and she sees dead people. And they will be stretching their hands towards her and asking her to hold them. Some of them are people who have died before. See, there are families here with those things. But we are going to deal with it. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this family. That spirit of death over the family. In the name of Jesus, we roll it away. We roll it away by the power of the Holy Spirit. And for you, I curse this spirit that is in you. In the name of Jesus, when the time for deliverance comes, the Lord is going to set you free completely in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Your hands are blessed. Listen, your hands are blessed. God expects you to use your hands to bring wealth to yourself. Your hands are blessed. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, that these hands are blessed hands are you getting what i'm saying you have to pray and trust god for ideas the things that you can do with your hands and he will bless you in the name of the lord jesus christ new level come there is still a time for impartation so you receive it but two things god is giving you number one god is giving you wisdom number two god is giving you stability huh i see you but i see like a wind you are here and there god needs to give you stability Father, you will give him stability in the name of Jesus. Come, my dear. I pray for you. You will marry a foolish man. Say amen. I curse every spirit delaying her marriage. Now, 
in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke that spirit come I have to pray for you hold my hands Lord she must be free today today is her day of liberty in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke this spirit you must leave her I see you in the spirit out of her right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my dear do you love Jesus very well Huh? Please, he wants you to take him very seriously. Okay? Where are you from, my dear? Benway State. Benway State. Is, who is here with you? Brother. Your brother. Where is he? Love. Brother, please, can you come? I want to speak to him just before we start this ritual. What's his name? Joseph, huh? Joseph Okotu. Joseph, where are you? I hear the Lord saying he's bringing restoration to your family. That's why I want to pray for you. We are going to pray. The Lord is saying I should tell you he will give you beauty for ashes. Huh? You may not understand the meaning of what I'm saying. But as the days unfold you will see God honor you. Father let there be restoration for this family. You are going to be a great man of God. Great man of God. God is going to put a teaching anointing upon you. Supernatural grace for teaching. Supernatural grace for teaching. Father, step into this family and do miracles in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in one minute. Let's begin to pray in tongues. Shiva Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Shabra Thank you, Father. Because the oppressed will be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I want to begin to minister. Deliverance is very important. Very, very important. It's the platform that separates you from the spirits and the influences. You see, sometimes some of you do not even know that your lives are under um, certain levels of 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 bondage but then you will need the grace of God you will need the wisdom of God you will need his grace to give you direction and I'm going to pray for you right now my goodness the power of God is strong in this place so many people inside and outside it will surprise some of you because you do not even know now listen this deliverance is not just for individuals in fact God is going to start with families that's what I see God doing hallelujah praise the lord you've heard this happen again and again i don't know why god does this but a lady is going to shout under the anointing and this is what will introduce that grace a loud shout by the spirit of the living god lift your hands father thank you for your power and your presence in this place right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i want everyone to shout jesus from the depth of your heart I challenge every spirit I challenge every voice and every altar oh God that has kept your people bound that has kept families bound there's no place for escape for you tonight Lord I pray that in a mighty way as your people begin to shout you visit them my goodness the power of God is already coming on people at the count of three one two get ready now get ready three shake fire upon you right now deliverance fire in the name of Jesus receive it receive it help them please help those people right now in the name of Jesus inside and outside I release the power of the Holy Spirit the power of the Holy Spirit right now right now right now right now right now I see the power of God along this region right here where the ministers are staying I see the power of God right now I cast that spirit I challenge every power 
every fraternity from hell that keeps people bound in the name of Jesus hallelujah lift your hands those outside alone those inside you can relax those outside at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus there are people who are tied to covenants I hear covenants in the spirit people tied to covenants as you shout that name it's like a wind that will blow outside and the power of God will begin to set people free are you ready now at the count of three one two three in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ we release deliverance outside we release mighty deliverance now lift your hands you don't have to shout just keep it lifted hallelujah I'm going to begin to speak and prophesy and for all those who are affected the power of God will begin to touch them bring them out here in the name of Jesus lift your hands now I pray every family here under any spell every family Lord where are they right now let the power of God touch them touch them now 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 right now in the congregation every family under any kind of spell I bring deliverance right now I bring deliverance right now in the mighty name of Jesus I bring deliverance help that lady I bring deliverance right now right now keep your hands lifted right now father identify families that have suffered every cause right now in the name of jesus all over the congregation inside and outside hallelujah keep your hands lifted no instruments just keep your hands lifted i'm going to pray i see fire rolling in the realm of the spirit now that fire listen that fire is going to come upon individuals i'm hearing stagnation that's what i'm hearing please keep your hands lifted inside and outside lord wherever those people are get set right now as i speak the fire will burst and begin to touch people stagnation wherever they are shake it, 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 it. begin to touch them right now by that fire receive it right now right now right now right now right now all over the building in the name of jesus christ that spirit of stagnation that has been responsible i see some people being touched outside i see people being touched outside hallelujah this row lift your hands just this row lift your hands the lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you the moment i stretch my hands the power of god will move in dramatic ways and i'm hearing in my spirit breakthrough that's what is coming please make sure you believe at the count of three i want you to shout jesus it will be a mighty move of the spirit lord i do as you have instructed and at the count of three let there be breakthroughs one two three help them please Embra katata, rakatoshkopa, repetekete. We command it in the name of Jesus. Bring them out. Shaba bala bala da bala bala. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every force that has tied down my life, you must leave me right now. Pray, as some of you are praying. The power of God will be touching you. Every spirit that is responsible.
make sure you are praying hallelujah please lift your hands only the ladies i want to pray for you only the ladies a woman represents a gate in the spirit and there are many ladies whose gates are tied and closed but the bible says to open up the two leaf gates it will surprise you what will happen to many of you right now please keep your hands lifted father i pray in a mighty way let every lady's destiny that has been closed at the count of three as they shout jesus let those gates be open get set now ladies one two three open now open now open now my goodness i see padlocks opening that's what i'm seeing in the spirit open up those gates in the name of jesus open up those gates open up those gates now open up those gates now open up those gates now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen lift your voice and violently pray in one minute and command that spirit to leave you go ahead and pray please by the power of the holy spirit you must leave my family just keep praying it's a new season by the anointing of the holy ghost every unclean spirit attaching itself to our lives hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord who came with this woman i'm seeing a spirit tying this woman watch this who came with mama out of her hold my hands mama listen she can't walk hold on mommy this woman cannot walk well you see this who don't worry Mom. stroke look at this how many of you believe god can do a miracle for this woman i command the spirit right now that spirit leave this woman right now in the name of jesus she doesn't hear very well too in the name of jesus i command the ears to be open mommy look at me lift your leg just carry it lift your leg carry it come come walk come 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 look at this walk by yourself come come look at this look at this look at this give jesus praise give jesus praise hallelujah listen she doesn't hear very well mama Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Come, Mama. Look at this. You know that this is a spirit that has tied this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, we end captivity. Stretch your hands and pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns her. This is somebody's mother. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah mama this mama come your time of breakthrough has come hold on look at what's wrong with you my leg cannot open your leg cannot this open leg, uh, this leg uh, how long 20, 20 years 20 how many years I, it's who knows her years. you know you are their son come now you come and stand close to your mother 
How many years? More than 20 years. Where are you from? We are from Sabongari. Mama? You believe Jesus will touch yes, you? Yes, sir. I tell you, there is nothing Jesus cannot do. Yes, there is sir. the anointing. You believe it? Yes, sir. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Heal me. Heal me. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Heal me. Heal me. Father, you died for this reason right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be healing right now. Look at what is happening to her. In the name of Jesus. Mama, hold my hands. Walk. Come. 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 Try to climb. Now, lift your leg. Try to lift it. It didn't used to open before. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, go ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift it and do what you could not do. Just do it. Do it. Open the other one. In the name of Jesus. God is already giving you a miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit. Can you see a miracle happening? She could not open the leg. Completely could not open it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at, look at this. God is giving this woman a... Eh? Before. She said she, she could not stand for five minutes. I cannot stand for five minutes. But right now, God is touching you. Your back will be paining you. In the name of Jesus Christ, this perfection you have started. That back ache, I lay my hands and I release the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just keep under the anointing. She will stand up and check herself. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another mother. I don't know why God is visiting our mothers right now. I'm seeing, Mama, please come. Can I talk to you, Ma? Somebody help that woman. Please, don't, if we talk to you, speak whatever language you can speak. There will always be somebody to interpret it. It doesn't have to be that you must speak English. Who's, whose mother is this? Eh? Well done, Mommy. What's, what's the issue? What brought her here? She has been complaining of different illness. Mama, what's wrong with you? I got BP. I got BP. This 20 day, my blood will move like this. As blood. I'm looking at our mother, Mama, as I look at you, I'm seeing something like a snake all around your stomach. That thing starts moving. Is that? And then it comes towards your chest area uh, then sometimes you feel pain at your back here yes, sir. that devil will leave you right now Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ you believe in Jesus I'm going to pray that God will use this lady because I looked at her and I just saw a dove rise from her you what's your name faith faith yes sir you will be a woman of faith you believe that let me pray for you father anoint this lady let your power come upon her in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will use you mightily. Mama, let's pray for you. Lay your hands on your chest, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, God is healing you right now. High blood pressure, high blood pressure and every other sickness, I rebuke it right now. And I command the spirit that oppresses you to live. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, listen. If you know you are involved in anything, whether maybe you have a shop, you are in business, and nothing is working, just lift your hands. I want to pray for those people right now. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Please believe. Why is she out? Come, you're a mother. We can't keep you standing there. Let me just attend to her. Please, you don't have to come out. We'll attend to you. Whose mother is this? My son is outside. Your son? Okay, what's, Paul, what can Paul, we do for you? Paul. I'm weak from here downwards. You are weak from? Um, my waist downwards. Downwards. What? You can walk. It's just that the pain is there. The pain, I used to feel pain. I can't sit for long unless I lie down. I can't stand for long. Okay, Mama, just clear the way. Let Mama, you are her son, you are welcome. Let her just sit down there. We will soon pray for the sick. When it's time, you just bring her there so that you can hurry up. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, you don't have to come out. We are going to, listen, listen. We are going to pray. We will invite people to come out now. We are, I'm going to pray for the sick. I will lay hands on all of you. Praise the Lord. So that we can just hurry up. If we do it one by one like this, we may not have all the time. 
Um, but why, why is she on her way? Uh, my problem is one year. I'm eating in the dream. You are yes. eating the dream? Yes. Food, you mean? One year now. For one year, non stop? Today's 15 days, my stomach, my back, in the pain. I cannot be sleep. I cannot be eat. Last, uh, last week, uh, Friday, I enter hospital. They give me medicine. I don't take all the medicine. Never stop. Well, we'll pray. Jesus Christ will set you free. In the name of Jesus. Mama, you two, just go and sit down there. Please, no our mothers don't worry when we start praying for the sick this is what we'll do we may give room so that we we'll start with some of our elderly ones so that they can go back they may not have that strength will that be fine so as you line up if you see any elderly man or woman you can just push them forward so that we minister to them and then they can go and sit down hallelujah praise the lord but lift your hands now i want to release breakthrough i mean i, I mentioned the case right now I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. And I will praise I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. And I will praise him. Every force, Kabbalah Tabarada. Keep your hands lifted that has tied down your business or the works of your hands some of you will feel fire on your hand literal fire it will start burning on your hands right now in the name that is above all names i pray as that fire comes on your hand ideas begin to come to you receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus it's already happening to people right now is happening to people the fire is coming on people help this brother please the fire is coming on people right now your hands ideas ideas this fire represents ideas receive it right now receive it right now in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord now as we pray for the sick I know there are many people here who are sick please be orderly as you come while that is happening every prayer request please pass it over to the ushers you have your prayer request you can use the time to call some of your loved ones by the way when we begin to prophesy for some of you who have your loved ones at home you can put on the phone and connect with them honestly if they have the faith to receive and they believe they'll be surprised at what happens to them you are trusting God for a healing miracle. Make your way to the front now and begin to pray. There is a God that heals here. Yeah. Yes. Mama, please don't cry. Can you get her a handkerchief, please? Help our mother with this handkerchief. Please make your way to the front. It's called a miracle service. Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Forward all the elderly ones to the front. Please, all our elderly ones. Looked around and I realized that you've been so good to me. Mm -hmm. 
all of us standing here, can we begin to talk to the Lord and say, Father, please. Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my cry when I call you? How can I love you more, know you more? The source of my strength, now you The strength of my life My hope and my joy My confidence, now you You're the source of my life The strength of my life My hope and my joy My confidence show you look at this oh my god put the camera here look at this can you see this person bring the person here look at this this is death already look at this i think you can can they see it on camera look at this you know that this is this is this is already this is an obituary who is her mother this is her mother crying who is her mother? Why did the mother stay outside now and bring the... Oh, she went to bring Matt. They brought the girl on his... What's wrong with her? She has been sick for over six months now, but they have been not... They have not able to be... No diagnosis. You will look at her and think it's HIV. Brothers and sisters, hear me. When a spirit enters a man, it leaves out his character through that person. Okay, let's, let's hear from the mother, please. What language can she speak? Kurama. Who is Kurama here? Huh? You are, please. Don't, can she speak Hausa? Mama Ki Hausa? Rabu de Suki Hausa? We will never put pressure on anybody. If she can't speak Hausa, she'll speak her language. Um, what is wrong with her? What's the issue with the baby? Uh -huh. Son of the two um, cancer. Cancer? Uh -huh. Eight. Eight? Uh -huh. Cancer, the eight took her. And uh, Basr. You mean? Basr. What's that? Uh -huh. Pile, cancer, HIV. Uh -huh. Look at this. Uh -huh. Tell her she brought. She brought her expecting. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. Tell her she came expecting Jesus to touch her. Jesus, okay. Kina. Kana Osa. So say. Kede in Ali. Kasuna. Kede in Kasuna. She never hear Osa. But is that not your language? Mama Kerkita, we are going to pray for her now. Oh, we are going to pray for her. Just clear the way. Can she hear? Kana Ji. Eh. How old is she? Help her. She, she. You would think this girl is, is 10 years. She's 30 years. 30 solid years. Supposed to be married, right? With her children. She's married with two children. Oh my God. Huh? Mama? Okay. This is cancer, HIV, at a terminal state. The source of my strength, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, now you. Hey, my confidence, now you. Source of my life, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, My dear, can you speak English? Can you speak English? No, don't worry. Can you hear me? 
you can hear me you believe Jesus can touch you do you believe that don't cry don't cry Jesus is able to touch you father show this lady mercy in the name of Jesus I curse that devil by the blood of Jesus Christ I command that spirit of infirmity that devil of HIV that devil of cancer I command him to leave her in the name of Jesus Christ I will ask you people to help her get up eventually my dear look at me look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I release strength to you strength to you strength to you try to move your hands or your leg go ahead try to move your hand or your leg if you can do you have enough strength for that can she hear me she's so weak she can't even hear me as well just leave her to lie down with the glory as I pray for other people I mean she's so weak she cannot even hear me God, the devil is wicked listen I assure you that whatever it is what's that okay the request don't worry we'll pray for you hallelujah just leave her to soak in the glory here while she gets some strength and we'll try to lift her up and see what happens father I pray for everyone here let the power of God touch them in the name of Jesus Christ everyone came please be patient you don't have to rush the Lord himself will touch you you came for a reason in the name of Jesus Christ you don't have to tell me what is wrong with you if I ask you you can tell me but it doesn't matter the spirit of death is on this woman but mama look at me oh, please. what's wrong I brought myself. You brought yourself. Yes. What's wrong with you, madam? Now, since uh, where would they fabuja? Now, the bubble, where the bomb will blow. So, what? I'm I'm selling something for Nyanya. Uh, I'm selling food with yeah. you. Where bomb will blow for that side? Bomb. Uh, oh, uh, bomb blast. Yes, I now fall down. I know I cannot get out. They're telling me to go hospital. Oh, the bomb, bomb blast that happened in Nyanya. Yes. So it affected you. Eh. Uh, so I can't get up. They carry me go hospital. So, uh, I spent four months. Go no go. They carry me go flying place. He collected uh, fifty thousand. Go no they go. They carried you go where? Uh, flying man. May go treat me. Say hospital no fit you. A doctor. Oh, how about this? Eh. Okay. Flani man. It's okay. The flying man collected fifty thousand. You know I've said it again. Please hear me. Listen. Let me let me press it down. Any man. I don't care who. Who tells you to bring money to get a miracle even if it's me run away are you hearing what I'm saying mama our mothers I'm begging you in the name of Jesus Christ any man any priest any prophet any pastor any apostle any human being herbalist whoever that asks you to give him money so that you give him miracle tell him Joshua Selman said he's a thief he's not a man of God are we together and now we start the cure the thief the if you give me medicine, I drink, I will bring bad, bad dream in the night. So, then like that, four months, you go and no go. The man now time to bring 30,000 again. I said, I know I will see food. That should bring 30,000 again. Uh, I know see food to to my children again now. And I'll start the bed, the man, no grief. That mommy, I'm a girl for some yeah. room before. We mommy, for some what, what? Now I can't have, I can't some room here. Come and say, come and I work out for prayer to prayer. But I the year player for you, when they say, make I come, make I know they, I know they come. I will just lie down, they feel pain every time. Do you know that there are spirits that stop men from going to the place of their breakthrough? Have you seen people that you try to bring for koinonia? On your way going, they just change their mind. It's not them. There is a spirit. I tell you, that you make your way here alone is a sign that God is ready to visit you. What, what, what exactly? I must enter today. I must enter as I just uh, come out for road. The machine just come. You say, Where are the grass and at this church? He says, Oh, make a go, make a go in Opa. Welcome, the usher people. Say, Where they go, they go to my church. I know if you work out. 
These people can serve God, then, then carry me from machine down. They hold my hand. God Sorry, bless our in. ushers. I sit down. When I stand finish, they come and advise me to make no hurry to enter. So, and now where they start the play, I enter through gate. That I just stand up with my, with my now this is the they stand for all this side. And now suddenly stand up. Uh, stand. God come give me a condition. Strength. My power. What what power. part of your body is not working very well? Yes. Now? What part? Oh, your oh, I see, Father. It's, it's okay, Madam, Ma Mama. Uh, we, we get what is wrong with you now. Eh? In Jesus' name, we we'll pray for you. If she couldn't walk, oh, there is a spirit at work in you. That spirit will leave you now. I command that devil leave her. You think it's bomb blast, but oh, she could not walk, oh. They had to carry her and now she's even standing. That's even a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, look at me. Hold my hands. I minister strength to you. Look at me. Come. Come. Help her. In the name of Jesus. Walk. I'll hold you. Walk. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Start walking by yourself. Come. Came on a bike. Could not walk. Come. Slowly. Just take it slowly. Look at this. You can see that it's happening gradually. Gradually. These hands were paralyzed. Madam, look at me. Try to lift it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Look at this. Lift it. Lift it. Drop it down. Lift it again. Lift it again. Completely paralyzed. Completely paralyzed. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. A miracle is happening. Do what you couldn't do. The devil is a liar. The more you take that step of faith, the more you see God stepping in. Father, this miracle is perfected in her body in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Just keep exercising her. We'll have to pray. Please, any special case who ministered, our time is gone. I saw the spirit of death. She was supposed to die in that bomb blast. I didn't even know it was Nyanya bomb blast. That Boko Haram bomb blast. May you never be a victim of any man's wickedness. In the name of Jesus Christ. The moment I pray for you, please, as you return back, check yourself and do what you couldn't do before. If it's a striking, striking testimony, we'll just take it here. Worship team, lead us through sessions of worship as we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. short of blood I look at you sir and your face has changed to the face of a cat this is what licks your blood this is what I'm seeing this is demonic you understand what I'm saying there was a time you had a dream and a dog was following you dog dog was pursuing you and I need to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death in the name of Jesus Christ I command that spirit that devil of darkness to leave Please stand in and connect for your loved ones. We have so many people. Let's see how far we
interesting situation here. What did the doctor say? It's your child? How many years? One month, two weeks with a hole in his heart. Are you seeing this? One month, two weeks, a, a male child. That he has a hole in his heart. That was, that was what the doctors told you. So you brought him for a miracle. You believe Jesus? Eh? And his, neck is not his neck is not standing. What does that mean? He can't lift his neck. Put the babies with the baby on my hand. Careful, careful. Just. I know we are taking time, but stretch your hands at this baby and let's close this hole in the name of Jesus. You will have a child. Make sure you are praying. One month, two weeks, a hole in his heart. If God does not step in, this baby will either die or something will happen. I tell you, we are the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. We can agree. Father, we reject this. We reject this. As you are rejecting it for this child, so it will be in your life. Reject it. Lord, your church is praying. We change this report. Baby, we speak to you. Baby, you will not die. You will not die. You will not die. We close this hole. Hallelujah. Go and check him. Don't cry. Don't cry. Eh? You are not going to lose your baby. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going to pray. It's going to be very, very fast. As I lay my hands on you, just, it's just a touch. There is a reason why I'm doing this myself and I lay hands on you. Just a touch. The Lord is wiping your tears. The Lord is wiping your tears. And not just because you are crying physically. This woman is coming with so much pains. The Lord is wiping your tears. Now, in the name of Jesus, out of her, that demon that causes pain. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Submit the prayer request. Ushers, you can begin to bring the prayer request forward. Please, everybody, inside and outside, make sure you don't miss this next session because that's where you get to receive your personal breakthrough. So please, forward the prayer request. If you still have yours, just lift it up and an usher will come to you quickly. Please, guys, let's do this very fast so that we can finish. As hands are being laid on you, I just want you to believe that God is touching you.
This is, this is, it's not a religious activity. It's an instruction that God gave us. Because you see, no matter how I lay hands on everybody one by one, we may not have all the time for everybody to state what their needs are. But then let me tell you something. The truth about it is that I'm not the most important person in this meeting. There is one who is mightier than I. You didn't write this request to Joshua Selma, and I will not even read one of them. This is unto the God who can solve problems. Mommy, please come. Yes. I've been looking at this woman, and I've been wondering what it is that God, what would you want God to do for you? To give me a quality spouse. To give you a quality spouse. This is what I'm looking at this woman and my heart had been drawn to her for a while. Madam, you want to get married because you are not afraid and ashamed to say this in the presence of the people. Look at me. I stake my reputation on this prophecy that I will give you. You hear me? If a man does not come to marry you, go and publish it in the newspaper that I lied. You believe what I'm saying? I will not implicate myself and be a fool like this. Because as soon as I looked at you, you said spouse. I saw a man putting a ring in your hand. That's why I'm telling you what I'm saying. You believe this? Be sure to return and give the testimony. And everybody be sure to look at her. You are seeing her today. When she comes back with her husband. So you don't say that. This is stage manage. Father, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, just cover her. I'm going to pray. Let me have... Okay, it's Prof's water. I wish there's any other one just to pray on it and then they'll give her. She's too weak. We can't even test her whether or not. But I see her moving her legs and moving all of this. This is ordinary. Okay, this is ordinary water. We'll just pray on it since that's the only thing she... Tena cha, haven't she? Bata cha, haven't she? Say me. Okay, 
Sa Jana Bata, Ache Yenzuda Sadita Anabata Nabata. Father, I pray that this water will lose its earthly significance and take on a heavenly significance. That as she takes this, oh God, let this be um, a cleansing agent. Let it be like a drug in her body. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can she hear you? Ask her how she's feeling now. I'm sorry, I forget this thing. So the matter you are taking, she, you see, she's gaining some strength. She couldn't move before, but we see her gaining some strength. Uncle, you don't. Can you see her gaining some strength? She's even moving. She's pushing her away. Same issue. Something is happening to her. Look at this. Are you seeing? Look at this. Look at this by herself. Oh. This is the power of the Lord. This in itself is a miracle. If you saw the way they brought her. Mama. Brother, the Holy Spirit is doing something in her life. My dear, as God grants you grace, you can just be moving your body gradually. We, we prayed on this. And um, Mama Gashi, Abata, Bakuaban is a shark for Amata Dua. There was a son about it. If you keep it there, all these children will come and take you. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your hands on this prayer request as we pray. Let's pray on these requests. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands and let's ask the Lord to visit us. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. Father, we are praying right now in the name of Jesus. We are praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a miracle. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. I'm seeing the Lord giving people miracles of jobs. Jobs. I see employment of jobs. I see a family that dropped a request here. Something about building a house. And it looks like you will not complete it. The Lord is saying before December 25th, you will enter that house. Please pray. Father, visit me. Talk to the Lord. Tell him your request is here. Let there be miracles, oh God. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. every request here to a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ requests of marriages may they be granted some of you have dropped requests here because the admission list came out and you did not see your name Lord we agree I don't know how you would do it but we agree that there be miracles In the name of Jesus. Lord, we release breakthroughs. 
we release all kinds of miracles in the name of Jesus Christ please lift your hands as I prophesy everyone I have grown to respect the power of prophecy I know that for many of you if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please I want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of jesus christ i command breakthroughs to come into your life supernatural breakthrough receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus Hallelujah. please lay your hands on your head i pray father mm, this will come mighty on some of you a baptism of the spirit of wisdom receive it now in the name of jesus shake it receive it receive it receive it receive it now now wisdom help him please wisdom in the name of jesus supernatural wisdom standing receive the impartation wisdom in business wisdom in career receive it in the name of jesus I pray for anyone who is confused here trusting God for direction in the name of Jesus may the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you? Wherever they are, everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level. Between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper. Right now, shekatatata, reketeketa, everything that has died in your hands. I don't care what it is. I'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting God for a job or you are standing in for someone trust 
asking God for a job the hands that are lifted in the name of Jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of Jesus I release jobs by the power of the Holy Spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the Lord God of Israel I command that veil be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by Satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of Jesus Christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate Christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of Jesus death is cancelled in the name of Jesus death is cancelled in the name of Jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of God receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus Christ between now and next week koinonia I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access Satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in Jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go can be celebrated in the name of Jesus listen I prophesy to you you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder I speak it upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life I pray for your dreams and visions of the ideas God has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insights in the name of Jesus from today I declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting God for restoration I pray for you I don't know what you have lost I command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what I'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no I'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ 
someone will call you and tell you they have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of Jesus Christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of Jesus Christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now very quickly we're out of time please keep standing everybody there are people here who are saying Lord Jesus I'm committing my life and my all to you please keep standing everybody no movements around there are people inside and outside here you came for this meeting and you have seen what the Lord Jesus Christ has done and you are saying Lord I want to surrender my life I've been living my life the way I want but I want to hand it over to you tonight some of you are giving your life to Christ for the first time some of you are rededicating your life you said I've, I've come out once but something has happened in my life wherever you are in the next one minute I know many people outside those inside please join them come out here and I will lead you to give your life to Jesus Christ wherever you are young old don't sit down wait for anybody koinonia celebrate them make your way to the front don't be embarrassed this is what Jesus can do with your life you've given people who are less than him your life why don't you commit everything I know this is not all there are still people inside and outside please make your way quickly God bless you as you come make your way quickly hallelujah while the rest join them God bless you keep coming quickly please hurry up and join them catch up with them it's a decision that will change your life forever we may not know who you are but we know where you are going because with Jesus your journey is secured you've lived your life anyhow and you're saying I'm tired of playing games with God I want to make it right there is always room for you the throne is where you start from hallelujah praise the Lord Jesus. I want you to lift your right hand and say after me Lord Jesus please say it very seriously say Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart I believe in you tonight I surrender my life completely to you take everything about me use me for your glory in the name of Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit from today I'm not the same person again the power of sin is broken over my life in Jesus name father I pray for these ones whose hands are lifted bless them they have made a decision for you they remain in you forever give them a new life in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus now, I'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving their hands they'll have your details and they'll welcome you more warmly very quickly madam we're finished praying tap that madam she can follow them hallelujah praise the Lord now all those who are worshiping with us for the first time very quickly one minute make your way to the front we want you to go back with an anointing and with a blessing honor them koinonia they are the result of your prayers our mothers our fathers our brothers and sisters thank you so much thank you so much they are the result of our prayers our commitment we prayed and asked the Lord to bring you and bless you look how many people God is bringing come on celebrate Jesus hallelujah now very quickly thank you so much Sas, Mas. thank you for coming this is Koinonia Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know 
that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.